Thanks to Keith at Magnolia Tire Pros and Auto Service for the professional installation of our Speedy Strut Complete Strut Assemblies by Sensen. We always recommend you go to professional for this type of repair. Today we will be replacing a set of front Complete Strut Assemblies on a 2012 Ford Escape. This front set fits the 2001 to 2012 Ford Escape, the 2001 to 2006 Mazda Tribute, and the 2008 to 2011 Tribute. Also, the 2005 to 2011 Mercury Mariner. Some of the tools needed for this installation include a 10 millimeter socket, pliers, and Allen wrench, 16 millimeter ratchet wrench. 18 millimeter ratchet wrench, 14 and 15 millimeter sockets, and a hammer or mallet. We recommend using Speedy Struts by Sensen when replacing your worn out struts. Speedy Strut Complete Strut Assemblies by Sensen come with a limited lifetime warranty. Sensen uses OE grade coil springs and strut mounts with premium grade bearings. All Speedy Struts are assembly tested for vehicle fitment accuracy and come in high quality premium packaging. Better components, better processes, and better quality. Speedy Strut is the better option. You're removing the wheel. You know, I always like giving them a little <laughs> shot. They just, they just come in loopsies here. These little bolts loose for the wires. And that's just my preference is all. Yeah, it's a 10 millimeter socket and a little 3 8 um, hand impact gun. Just wiggles and pulls backward. And then the brake line will come free of the strut. So, and that bolt was holding the uh, wire for the uh, anti-lock brake. The Allen wrench to hold the stabilizer bar. That's a 16. Yeah, see how it's turning? You put, gotta put this in there to hold it. Now, if they had an impact gun at home, that they could spin that nut with an Allen socket instead of an Allen wrench mm -hmm. and a small impact gun, something similar to this, they could spin that and hold that nut. So these are 18 millimeter, the bottom are strut bolts. You release the two strut bolts on the bottom. Once I break them loose, I use my impact gun. Use a wrench to break them loose, and then I use my little hand impact gun to spin the nuts off. The bolts back. Wiggle the A arm just a little bit, and that one naturally wants to get stuck. Take a small punch of some kind, lay it on the end of the bolt. Make sure you don't mess up the threads, and tap it out. And this particular one has a brace holding the, just a little tab holding the wires. So all you do is pull that up off there, slide it back. These two strut bolts here are 14 millimeter. Again, if I can, I use my little half impact gun to take them off. And I just lay them right beside where I'm taking them off. I put my hand through the fender wall to hold the strut. Take off the third bolt. And make sure you have a hold of the strut at this point because it will fall down. And that's all there is to get that strut out of the lift. But anyway, you take that and try to put this piece because that's where the brake arm is and the mount for your ABS wire. Try to leave that in position when you put that up through the hole. Back under the car. Sometimes it's nice to have a hand with somebody to help you do that. 
but you can do it yourself. You start one of the bolts, following yourself around there. You can get them all started. Just take my 3 8 hair gun and just tighten these back up. And it's always a good idea to take a 3 8 ratchet and just make sure that these are snug. Because if your battery's weak on your impact gun, they won't be tight. Put your wire holder back on just to keep your wires in place. And that's it for the top. Turn it back into place so that your lower apron will line back up. Sometimes you can raise this by hand, which we can. Line your holes back up. And it doesn't matter on most vehicles which way these two bolts go. They can go either direction. Put the nuts back on. And again, just hold the back side of it with an 18 millimeter wrench. I use my little impact gun again. And tighten them back up and just torque it with the wrench to make sure that they're tight. And that's all there is to mounting the strut. Now we need to put our brake line and our ABS wire back in. Our ABS wire is just held in with a 10 millimeter bolt. And you can see on the top of that bracket that little piece fits into that part in the back that's to hold it into position. And all you gotta do is tighten it up to hold it in place and that's all there is to put the ABS back in. Put your brake wire back in, pull it back up to your hole. There we go. You just take your hammer and tap that little clip back in. That's all there is to that. Stabilizer bar back in. Start your nut back on there. Use the same 16 millimeter wrench you took it off with to put it back. Same Allen wrench, just hold it in reverse order. This was tight. Half inch drive impact gun, put your lugs back on. This concludes our front complete strut assembly installation on a 2012 Ford Escape. Be sure to look for our rear strut installation video for this vehicle. Thanks for watching and thanks to Magnolia Tire Pros and Auto Service for their professional installation.